guys happy thursday i am filming this the day before it's going up the girl needs to get her life together but uh anyway it's kind of i honestly don't mind not having things pre-filmed because i know like it's fresh content for you guys it's just harder for me because i'm doing something every single night filming editing uploading um but i went to a craft fair you guys will see it in the vlogs and i got a few things so i figured i would do one collective haul so it's gonna be a little bit of everything we have art we have books we have unique items so i'll do the i'll get the books out of the way um but i you know i won't go into the synopsis or anything i'll literally just show you but there is a bookstore that goes it's a mobile bookstore it's literally on a van the girl's name is libby like she, like literally it's like she's met she was meant to love books like her short her name is really short for librarian you know and she always has a really good book collection for cheap sometimes especially when they're used books she does sell um brand new books and you know they're probably a little more expensive than like a amazon or target but again you're supporting a small business but honestly guys i usually go for her used books so she had a really big sale that day. She had a bunch of like baskets in front of the mobile store. And I think the basket, everything in the baskets were like $3 or less. So I have been dying to read some Nora Roberts. I know how popular Nora, Nora Roberts is. So you're going to see a few Nora Roberts books. If you guys read any of these, let me know. There's also a Nicholas Spark. So we have Nicholas Spark, True Believer. I think this whole stack in front of me was like, I wish I remembered. But it was is no more than 20 books. Then we have Nora Roberts. Oh, it says two classic donovan stories charmed and enchanted so i wonder if this is two books in one must be because it even has both synopsis in the back charmed enchanted so that was a good ass price then we have golden shores there's some classic romance books then i saw these and I, you know when i see think of nora roberts when i think of the old classic romance these are the kind of covers i think of in like this size little book you know it's like usually the, like the little paperbacks these are definitely different and they spoke to my soul and they are all nora roberts so this one is this one says book three of the in boonsboro trilogy i didn't even realize that so i wonder if this is a standalone or if i have to get the first two i'm sure i can find the first two cheap on thrift books or book outlet we shall see but this one is the perfect hope this one's book one, so that's perfect. Vision in white. This one says first time in print. And, you know, it definitely looks like it's supposed to be, like, wedding themed. Then we have another Lu Nicholas Sparks, the lucky one. I believe this is the one. Let me know, guys. Is this the one that is a movie with Zac Efron? I have watched it, so I would love to read it. Then there is another Nora Roberts. Oh, book one again, so that works out. Oh, this is book one for that one so all i would need is book two that actually really worked out i didn't even plan that this is yes yeah, it's right here book one of the in bondsboro trilogy and this one says book three so i would just need two so i'll have to look it up so this one is the next alive and this one is the perfect hope i just need the one in the middle and then the freedom riders diary i have watched this movie and i love it with hillary swank if you guys never seen this movie definitely look it up she is a teacher who makes a huge difference in these students lives and you know that touches home to me because i'm a teacher um yeah how a teacher in 150 teens used writing to change themselves and the world around them and the movie's called the freedom writers um so this is the book oh can't wait to read that and then this one was just, I think this was a free one. A lot of times if you order any, if you buy anything from her, she has a little box that's like free books and you can just grab it. So I did all Nora Roberts, two Nicholas Sparks, the Freedom Writers. And then this was my free one, which was By Your Side by Casey West. Um, this one, I read the back quickly. It's just like a standard romance. I'm trying to think, is this like a Enemies to Lovers or yeah yeah it seems like it's an enemies to lovers so yeah that is everything i got from the mobile bookstore then let's see some of this is oh okay i thought so i did get some mystery books but i might make that its own video um because i don't want this video to get super duper long and the mystery books i would like to go into more details about but i'll show them to you um then i did get a few pieces of art um, I love supporting local artists. 
and I do want to do a gallery wall in my bedroom. So I got this one that I absolutely love. I just got to get a nice frame for it. This one is an 8x10 and it was only $15. I love floral prints. I love all these colors. Isn't this absolutely gorgeous? Love it. Then I got another one. This was from a different artist. This one's already matted. This one was really nice. And this one was $25. Just so you guys can see like the two different styles. And I love sunflowers. So this one definitely spoke to me. I love that this one looks like it's in a vase. This one looks like it's in a field. Love that. So I got those two. And then I got some art that is very, very different from that. And just shows like how eclectic I can be. Um, the guy was, was so happy. I bought like, I can't even remember. Was it eight pieces from him? Let me see one two three four five six seven yes because one i already gave to my mom it was a, it was a gift for her goddaughter who loves super mario he had a super mario print so that gives you an idea of what you're about to see he is very um i don't know is pop culture the word like he loves more maybe more retro he loves like old 80s and 90s tv shows and movies i got dust on my shirt um and it, that's like my era because I was born in the early 90s. So when I bought the eight, and I thought they were so well priced. They were only 10 bucks a print. So, I mean, they were, I did buy eight of them. It was 80 bucks. But for eight prints, I thought that was incredible. So then he even ended up throwing in stickers. He told me to pick um, four stickers for free. So I'll show you guys the stickers first. So one of these is a gift. She doesn't watch my channel too often. So I'm going to show it. Hopefully it's not ruined. If it is, it is. Ha um happy beetlejuice release day diana so my friend diana is obsessed with beetlejuice she's the one that i'm in the wedding party for um she is been such a great friend throughout this process i oh I, I don't know maybe it's me being thinking about it too much but me being in a plus size body does make things harder for people um you know i gotta realize that i gotta be true and honest about that you know it, it does make things harder on joe he helps you know he, has to, he doesn't have to help me i can't do it myself but he does make my life easier by going up and down the stairs to do laundry and like things of that nature you know um and even I, like as a friend you know i can't do certain things sometimes like we not that i can't i i always don't stop myself but like if i go to an outdoor restaurant for example i 99% of the time bring my own chair and i am not embarrassed by that just the other day me and joe went out to eat and i moved the restaurant chair and joe got my beach chair from the car and i brought it because a lot of outdoor seating for some reason that always has arms and it never fits me but you know if i go out with a friend they may be a little more embarrassed but if they're a true friend they don't care and my friend diana has been standing by my side the first dress shop we went to they didn't have anything that carried my size she was super upset and she had even called and advocated for me so we she found a second dress shop for me and we went to the second one together and she has been incredible so i just want to give her a little like just um you guys know gift giving is my love language. I just want to give her a little thing to show I appreciate her. So I got two things specifically for her. And because she loves Beetlejuice, I am going to give this to her on... Because her birthday came and went. It was in May. I already gave her her gift. I'm not going to wait till Christmas. So I'm going to give this to her on Beetlejuice release day. I'm going to surprise her and I'm going to drop it off on her porch. So this is the sticker. And this, and she always, she always says every year she buys a new sticker for her car. It's like a tradition. Her and her boyfriend, they go to um spirit halloween every like when it opens every i don't know when they open sometime in september and they buy a new sticker for a car because it fades obviously throughout the year so this is going to be her sticker so she can have two for a car if she still wants to buy herself one and then this is the print how gorgeous is this and she does love um what do you call it flowers she has like a skull tattooed on her arm with like roses so i think she is going to absolutely love this so i'm gifting this to her then the other three stickers i picked and you guys are gonna see this in prints was rocco's modern life i used to love this show in the 90s et how i love it we're holding the umbrella with the pot of flowers it is so cute and then Coraline. so you want to see some of these in prints so here is the rocco modern life of course it's a little more detailed than the sticker because you have the really cool background but i absolutely love this i want to frame all of these and do a really cool gallery wall with these i, I, I want to put the floral prints that is my vibe but i'll probably put it in a different area of the house then we have et this one matches the sticker and then we have oh that one just fell we have two 
things from Ghostbusters, which I know is 80s, but I love the Ghostbusters. So we have the Marshmallow Puff Man, I think is. Yeah. And then we have one of the ghosts from the Ghostbuster. And I love it. I just love the colors, the brightness. I love these. I have for $10, guys. Do you understand now why I got... Well, I got eight, but two are gifts. So only six are for me. So I can do a nice little gallery wall. Oh, that's the ET. You guys already saw it. That's the one that fell. Okay, and then the other two is the Coraline one that matches the sticker. Again, look at the colors. It's so rich. I'm obsessed. And then the last one, another show I loved from the 90s, literally... Me, me and Joe saw this and then he started going na 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 do you guys recognize it if you do put it in the comments and it is five four three two one Doug love it oh my god I love it so much so I bought that all from that vendor and then like I said I'm gonna do the mystery books separately but i won't just show it to you so i got three books from a um blind date with a book so they're literally wrapped up you get a bookmark with each you get a tea with each and it does give you like a little synopsis so one of them says contemporary mental health one says romance amish that one sounded really good and one says romance asia so i will be unwrapping these in a different video keep an eye out for these it'll be either like tuesday or thursday next week if you guys want to keep an eye out for those and then i got a mystery bag here this is from um i never know how to say it showowski and friends she is an author who lives somewhere in my area and she writes children's books and if you guys watch during vlogmas I bought some of the children's books and she started selling the stuffed animals to go with the children's book. And I bought it for my nephew for Christmas. And I love supporting her. But, you know, I, I only need so many children's books. I don't have kids yet. But she was doing a mystery bag. And it was going to have, like, stickers and coloring pages. And it was cheap. I think, like, five bucks or something like that. So I said, you know what? Let's do it. Let's support an author and get a few things. So I think that is everything. So I got this sticker that says one step at a time. I love it so cute and that's the three characters she writes her books about and they each stand for something i forget what each one stands for but they each like have a story to go like i think yeah i am enough i am capable i am learning i think that's what it is like this one says friends come and go but the true ones stay like an octopus stuck to your coffee cup that is so cute i love that then we have, it looks like a little bookmark, and it said, oh, look for the good things. I know one of them, their story is literally that. So it's Shawalski the cat, I think that was her original character. Then it's Zeke the octopus, and Wisp the dragon. So if you guys have children or grandchildren, nieces, nephews, definitely consider supporting this amazing author. She has the books, you can get the coloring books, you can get the calendar. She sells the little stuffed animals, and then she even sells accessories to go with them. So during Vlogmas, because it was Christmas time, you could get like a scarf to go around their neck. It was like a little accessory. The one that just passed, because it's summer, she had a towel and little sunglasses for each character. It was so cute. Then we have a little coloring page, and it's the three of them drinking lemonade. How summer. Love it. Then we have that sticker page. So it's, um, check, I drink my water. Then it's high five self. Then it's I am enough. I am learning. I am capable. And then the last one at the bottom here says life begins at the end of your comfort zone. I love that. And then you can do this. Read that again. And a bunch of hearts. Love it. And then this one, it looks like it's a little art print. Look for good things and you might just find good things. And it's Showalski the cat. I hope I'm saying his name right. I will tag her Instagram down below. Please guys go check her out. She's absolutely amazing. And it says Showalski the cat. His favorite thing is optimism. So that's what he stands for. Also snacks and adventures. Showalski, which is the name of the cat, means a glass, ha is a glass half full kind of cat who's sure there's so much good to be found in the world as long as she's willing to look for it. I love this. And the author, like I said, she's from Massachusetts and her name is Emily Varosky. But it's like Emily, it's E-M-E-L-Y. Very interesting. But I will link um, the Instagram down below. If you guys do not see it, call me out and I will link it. But I got that little mystery bag from her. And then last but not least, before I open the mystery books in a separate video, 
I purchased something that I had been wanting for a little bit of a long time. It's a little more on the expensive end. It's definitely an investment. But to me, I figured it was worth it. And it is. Are you guys ready for this? It's absolutely gorgeous. I am so excited that I finally have one. And I supported a small local business instead of buying it online. And it is a wooden floral bouquet. So I love this because I have cats. So I always have to be careful what flowers I can have in the house. And I like it because obviously they never die. So it is an investment, but it is something you will have very, very, very long term. Because of that, it is also on the pricey side. Flowers in general, think about it, are expensive. And then never mind flowers that don't die. So for example, oh, I think she took the price off. I want to say this one was $40. Um, she had some 50, 60 and more. I also bought another one for a friend of mine as her birthday gift. They were rainbow flowers because um, she loves a rainbow. And it's not Charmaine, if you guys want it. It's a friend uh, that does live next to me. And she's actually um, gay. So because of that, the rainbow really means something to her. So I got her a rainbow one. So in this um, place, they're actually... I did buy something else. There, there might still be a bag in my bedroom. Um, because I also bought a little magnet with like a wooden flower for my fridge. But I know this cart alone, like this little vendor business, I spent like $100. And you guys are only seeing one thing. But there was multiple things. Um, but how gorgeous is this? And she had it like in a picture. She says she thrifts all the vessels that she uses. And, you know, just so, um, you know, there's so many beautiful like vases and cups and glassware when you go into like a goodwill a saver things like that so she tries to reduce reuse recycle and she makes gorgeous and she had to build your own flower bouquet with wooden flowers like each stem was so much money and you can make your own um and i kept and i was there the longest me and joe i just kept going back and forth on which one i wanted because you know it was a significant amount of money so i said if i'm gonna buy this i want to make sure it's one i'm really really gonna like i'm trying to think because I did have a $60 one in my hand, but this one was smaller. So, yeah, I want to say this was 40 or 45 something along those lines. And I like that it looked like a little picture that it even had a handle. And this I'm going to style somewhere on either, like, my coffee table or dining room table. And I don't have to worry too much if the cats screw up with this one. But, yes, that is everything I got from the craft fair. You will see the mystery books in a separate video. But let me know what your favorite thing was. Is it the floral prints? Is it the more pop culture-y retro prints? Was it the flowers? um was it the cute little mystery bag i always love conversing with you guys down below you guys know i love supporting small businesses i love going to these little craft fairs my cousin loved the mario print my mom gave it to her and she said right away did, oh she's like did somebody paint this and my mom's like yeah taylor found it at one of those vendor fairs she goes to and last year same thing was it her la birthday last year or was it christmas last year i my mom got her a mario print and she says all the time it's so hard to find mario items that aren't for kids you know because she is an a she's an adult woman but you know usually like the nintendo stuff's more geared towards kids so she's been so happy to be able to enjoy these mario things i even got her a mario cro crocheted figure from these vendor fairs it is so worth going to them um i mean even if you can't spend money if you just want to walk around you can take pictures you can share the events it really does help these small businesses and um i'm so glad i can support these amazing small businesses but like i said let me know your favorite down below you're either seeing this on a Tuesday or Thursday. Oh, I said I'm filming this literally day before. That's right. You're seeing this Thursday. But my unboxings and hauls, like that mystery thing, mystery books, will are always like a Tuesday or a Thursday. Wednesday is What's Up Wednesday, so it can be different every week. Monday is Book Club with my friend Charmaine. Friday is usually a vlog. Saturday is my outfits of the week. Those will be coming back soon, guys. I have been filming. I just got to edit and upload. And then Sundays are either self-care Sunday or a bonus video or I take the Sunday off. So I do post at least six days a week, if not seven. If any of that interests you, definitely consider subscribing. Hit that notification bell so you're notified next time I upload. If you like the video, you like me, you like supporting small businesses, give the video a thumbs up and um, share me out. And like I said, let me know what item was your favorite. If you've read any of those books, talk to me down below and be safe, guys.